All right, guys, so I made some changes. I'll go ahead and show you. So there's a bit of a uh, foot sliding there. As you can see, it, it didn't snap back in place though, which is good. That's kind of what we wanted. We didn't want it to snap back in place. And I'll explain that to you here in a second. I'll just go ahead and show you the rifle. So obviously that animation doesn't work real well for the rifle, but you could have different data assets per state and have it select the data asset based on the state. So you could use a, you could potentially use another chooser if you wanted to, but I don't really see how that's, why that's necessary. It would be just as easy to, easy to, uh, to do a, a, a bowling check on that. So let me just go ahead and show you what I did. So I changed the names of the slots to overlay full body and overlay upper body. I added the full body one. <coughs> the overlay slot is now called overlay upper body. And I'll explain to you why. So as you can see here, we have the overlay full body and overlay upper body. The up, this one is for the pelvis up. Now, when you play an animation on this, it blends in and it blends out. But what does it blend in and out of? It blends in, in and out of the source. It does not blend in and out of this because this is not the source. Uh, it's blending out of the it's blending in and out of the overlay uh, states. So this right here, it's blending in and out of that. So therefore, the anything that's playing on the legs or whatever on the motion matching is it's not going to blend into that. It's going to ignore that, and that's the reason why we needed an overlay full body. I'll investigate uh, some way to handle that. I'm not really sure how else I would be able to handle that, but there may be something I'm overlooking. I'll investigate that further. So for the pelvis up, if you need to place something on the pelvis up, arms and spine and neck and head and all that, then you want to play it on the overlay upper body. If not, then you want to play it on the overlay full body. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can inject the you can inject the layer settings the same way from right here. And like I said, if you needed multiple, you could do a select and then you could plug in a Boolean val value right here that decides which of these get selected. Um, you can do a chooser evaluation, but let me just uh, undo that. You could do a chooser evaluation, but it seems like choosers are actually quite performance heavy. So it's up to you if you want to do a chooser evaluation. Um, so... I'm thinking maybe in the next update they might uh, fix that, improve it. So anyway, when you're playing it on the overlay uh, full body slot, then what you're doing is you're kind of solving the problem in reverse. And if it doesn't crash, I hope it doesn't crash. Okay, it didn't crash. Cool. So if I put the weapon in my hand, and let's say that I set this to overlay, and overlay, then you'll see that the hands do not move. But if I set this to base and base, then you'll see that the hands do move. So depending on the situation, you might want to treat the arms differently. Also, you'll notice that I named this main pose and secondary motion. Uh, maybe I should have said main motion and secondary motion. Uh, but anyway, you guys can let me know if you think of a better term than main pose, but that just means that it's going to respect the main pose more accurately based on uh, this. Most, Almost every single time you're gonna want this to be overlay uh, during aiming, but whenever you're playing a montage, you're, you're going to want it to be the base because you're playing that on the base 
and the overlay is getting overlaid onto the base. And so you want to say, hey, uh, do not uh, modify the arms. Let them play as they were intended to play on the base. And you can also even say 0.5 and 0.5 so that you're blended somewhere in between. You see? And so, and so you can update them in real time, but yeah. 0.5 with this set to base would mean that it would be 0.5 mesh space since the pelvis is from the pelvis up, everything is being applied in mesh space 100%. You don't have to apply this on the legs, actually. Uh, so that's that's up to you. In fact, that might have been causing a problem. Let's see if I put it in local. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have any effect really. But yeah. So anyway, you guys get it. So the slight foot sliding is still there, obviously, and it's going to be there. And the reason why it's going to be there is because of the fact that I don't have a foot locking uh, procedural foot off or procedural foot correction system in place yet. I'm going to experiment with that next uh, weekend and I'll get back to you guys on the outcome of that. But I just wanted to give you guys a rundown on how these slots need to be handled so that people don't get confused. I'll do a full breakdown of this entire uh, uh, series tomorrow. It's going to be quite a long video, but I promised you guys that I would make another one uh, that was more up to date and based off the current uh, layout. And so I'm going to do that and I'll do that tomorrow and I'll see you in the next video.